which product is best for your business? Is it an ebook? Is it an online course? Or is it a membership site? And when should you use them in your business? I'm going to do a comparison between the three, and then you can make a choice on which one is going to work best in your business. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mario. I'm a 22 year naval engineer turned author. I'm author of two books, one of which is The Blueprint to Building Your Online Empire and course creator for the Online Business Startup University. So I'm going, I'm going to break down easiest to most difficult to create, and then I'm going to give you a few pros and cons for each one. So we'll start with an ebook. Now, I love ebooks because Let's just say for this video, after I get done with this video, if I wanted to make some kind of other piece of content, I could just transcribe this video and turn it into an ebook. Very easy. You could use something like Rev.com or you can transcribe it yourself. Now, the pros of an ebook is that it is very easy to get to market, very easy to write. It does not take you a long time to do it. And you can immediately start building up interest in the thing that you do. If I was just starting out and I was a beginning entrepreneur, the first thing I would do is just try to create something from the easiest first. Then I would focus on the things that take more time. Now, before we get into the ebook, if you're trying to start an online business, you should be creating content towards whatever it is that you're trying to do as an online business because content is king. And attention is currency. If you've been creating content for a while, I would take the top points from some of my best content and turn that into an ebook. Then you can get people's emails so you can get them on your list. This is the shortest and quickest way to get started. And I have a video that shows you how to make one in under 10 minutes. You can check up top. I've helped like 40,000 people create an ebook in under 10 minutes. So check that video out. Now, this can be free or you can charge a very low price for it, like three or four dollars. And this could be your tripwire. You know, this could be your low hanging fruit something to get them into your ecosystem. You've heard about the pros of creating an ebook. The only con I can see with an ebook is that it is not a high ticket item. It is an introduction to what you do. It is an introduction to what you teach. Think top of the funnel content. I hear people ask me a lot, "Can I make a full-time business off an ebook?" Yes, you can. You just can't charge that much for them. Unless you tag it on with something else like an upsell offer with something else, maybe an, an online course or some kind of paid webinar or something that teaches the things that you have in the book. Number two is an online course. It's pretty easy to create. You could use your phone. Doesn't take long. Now with AI, you could simply type in something that says, hey, I'm looking for this topic. Give me four subtopics that I can break down for this particular niche. And when it spits you back out some topics, then you can create content for each one of those things. Topics become your modules inside your online course. And you just take your phone, shoot a video for it. Doesn't get any easier than that. The only thing I would say with online courses is that they may be a little bit time consuming. And then you have to find a platform to host them on, but there is no shortage of platforms. You got Kajabi, ClickFunnels, Teachable. I like Teachable. My course is hosted on Teachable. So yeah, it's a little bit more difficult to create, but it's an excellent product to scale. A good solid foundation to build your your online business on. So the cons for an online course is that sometimes you may not know what to put inside of it. You might be struggling with titles or struggling to know what what do you charge for free? What do you put in your paid course? And if you're interested in me making tutorials on that, I, I can make a video on that. Let me know in the comments. And also, it's not hard to market and promote these, but a lot of people do find difficulty in how they're going to get traffic there, how to build their funnel, things like that. But this is by far my favorite one. It's the, it's the most easy to scale. There is a way that you can use this in a funnel if you want to know a couple of ways that you can do that. Inside this book, there's a lot of strategies in there that can help you do that. You can get that book for free. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. I truly hope that you're enjoying the video. I hear this all the time. People are just starting up and they're making all this money but I'm not, and I've been doing this for months. What am I doing wrong? What do I need to do to make more sales? I'm posting on every platform, I'm using all the pain points and still nothing. I know how this feels, and that's why in this book, you will discover the top secrets that answer these questions. That's why I even wrote this book, because I want to help people like you win. I have studied digital marketing 
for a while now and digital marketers struggle with this all the time. These are crucial strategies you need. Inside, we cover a strategic framework on how you can design products that cater to every stage of the journey that your customer is going to go on. I teach a framework with four simple components on how you can build a strong foundation in digital marketing. People are all over the place today. And then I teach you one of the number one secrets to selling. As an added bonus, this is exclusively for my email community. I send out an online business simplified magazine with sales and marketing tips each month. Plus you get access to an online business coach that helps to guide you through everything that's inside these guides. Lots of people just need a mentor or coach to get to the next level and a lot of people charge a lot for that and I offer free coaching to help guide you in what's inside this book. So make sure to go check in the description so you can get access to these. And now back to the video you were watching. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is membership sites. And I have a love-hate relationship with them. They're a great model if you have a lot of content that you can repurpose from old and if you have enough of an audience. I would say if you don't have those two things, a membership site can be a little bit involved. Then I have to, I have to personally be there giving my time. It's a lot of maintenance, so I don't like membership sites for that reason. But they're an incredible source of recurring revenue if you get it right. Also, it can be very time consuming to create content. So the two things that I said, if you have this before, like a ton of content that you've been creating or a big audience that you have built, you can leverage those two things and make the membership site work. Because if people are already engaged in your audience, you can say, hey, I got this membership. I'm going to be taking it a, a little bit higher. You can go deeper with me. It's only 20 bucks a month. And this is what I'll give you. And since you already have an established audience, then a membership site might work for you. And again, that recurring, recurring revenue, you just can't top that. If you don't mind jumping in there all the time to manage it and to create content, for me, that's a little too much pressure. I like having one main product that I can push and promote all the time. And I can just make it one time instead of having to constantly keep putting forth new, fresh content. Sometimes it can be a bit of a burden, especially if you got kids or you don't have a lot of time. So you got to think about those things. So who's the clear winner? If I had to choose one, I would I would say an online course, but I would use that in conjunction with the ebook. I would use the ebook as a lead magnet to pull people in and then I would use the online course to educate them, take them further, give them a transformation. And I would use those two things in conjunction with one another. And then maybe after you build up your audience and you build up your content, then you can also add as part of your value ladder, a membership option. And that, my friend, is how you create a bunch of different revenue streams. And I love that. Now, I talked about an ebook, an online course, and a membership site, and you can have all those together if you build it right. This book will go over a plan and a strategy on how you can actually do that. You use the ebook as a lead magnet, use the online course as sort of the anchor, and then you can use the membership site as a monthly recurring. And all those things, when put together, creates a great online business strategy. And I want to help you get that done. Make sure you check out my other videos. I think you'll find that they're insightful and they can help you in a lot of different areas in your online business. So I can't wait to see what you're going to create.